I'm 32, okay? I've been doing comedy for a while now. It's going all right. I like it. But I'll tell you the reason why I started doing comedy. It was because I was very insecure about my height as a kid. Very insecure. But here's the thing. Now I've come to a point where I don't mind when people make fun of my height. It bothers me when they are supportive. Because <laughs> I don't know how to react. <laughs> because the new generation cares. My generation didn't. <laughs> My generation was mean, dude. I got the whole deal. And I was scared. Like, you know, growing up in the 90s, Chotu, Chirkut, Lilliput, everything. My friends were so mean, they will use my head like an armrest. Yeah. We went to a nice mountain view. My friend is like, what a view, dude. And I'm standing there going like, dude, I can't see the view, man. Fucking remove your hands. Mean fuckers. Dude, fuck my friends. My teachers were mean. My sixth standard teacher, even though she knew I was short, she would make me erase the board. <laughs> Just to see me struggle. Okay, but like the other day, I swear to God, okay, the other day I went to a supermarket, the thing that I wanted was on the topmost shelf. <laughs> my luck. <laughs> and I'm struggling. 15 minutes, nobody helped. And then this one tall dude saw me struggling. He walked up, picked it up and he's like, here you go, buddy. <laughs> I cried. <laughs> I looked at him like, we need more men like you. A society will only grow if we can support each other. He looked at me like, sir, I work here. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> now take your bond meter to the billing counter, go. <laughs> Fuck out of here. It's the little things about my height that piss me off, okay? The little things that bother me. Like, true story, okay? A couple of months ago, me and my school friends took a road trip to Goa. And it's great fucking driving car, having beer, talking about school. Fucking beautiful it was. What is the side effect of having beer? You want to pee. So we stopped at a dhaba, went inside the toilet. You guys have seen this roadside dhaba toilets, right? They are beautiful. <laughs> what a visual delight. <laughs> you know? Every disease originated there. <laughs> You can see, <laughs> all across the country, all Indians enter this toilet the same way. <gasps> <laughs> Disgusting toilet, okay? This one also, we walk in, there's like a modern art of Pan Parag. Yeah, and on that only is written, don't spit here. <laughs> so I walked in, okay? Disgusting, no two, only one. Okay, no two, only one. And thankfully, we only wanted to pee. So four urinal points, I go and stand at my urinal and I immediately realize there is a problem. <laughs> the height placement of the urinal was unbelievably high. Too high. Dude, have you ever been so confused that you try again? <laughs> like maybe this time it'll go. Let's pray, Anand. You know when you try to put that pen drive without looking, like why is it not going in? Why is it not going in? And I'm standing there, I'm trying to figure this out and then slowly it starts dawning on me that this urinal is too high. And that day I realized something, guys, accepting that you can't reach your urinal is fine if you're a kid. Yeah, it's actually cute. When you see a kid like, Daddy, I can't reach. And everyone like, aww. But as an adult, you can't be like, Macha. I can't reach the... <laughs> like, what do you expect from your friends? What do you expect? Like, what, you want them to come and then pick you up? As your legs are dangling in the air. <laughs> And you're talking to them like, hey, hold me steady, dude. <laughs> let me aim, let me aim. <laughs> hold me steady. <laughs> and then you have another doubt. If your hands are on their shoulder, who's holding your like? <laughs> How close are we? <laughs> okay, so you can't do anything. So I'm just standing there struggling to pee. Okay, both my friends are fucking tall. And I'll tell you why. Because in school, I wanted to grow up so badly, I only played basketball. And as you can see, the results were remarkable. <laughs> because I forgot, <laughs> when your mom is five and your dad is five five, basketball can't do shit. <laughs> it's more of a DNA problem. <laughs> and I just kept jumping like an idiot. Dude, in my head I was jumping, I was like, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. 
my body type was like, we'll give you Parthiv Patel. <laughs> so what you are. And I jumped so much, these two became my friends. Dude, they put me in the school team. One of the worst nepotism ever. <laughs> Every tournament event, they used to call our team four and a half men. <laughs> so because of this, both my one friend is 6'3", one guy is 6'4". These two giraffes have no problem. Because their pee is coming from the first floor. I'm the only one peeing at sea level. <laughs> so these guys finish peeing, I'm standing there trying to figure this out. What the fuck am I gonna do, dude? I can't accept it to these guys. And I'm just waiting for them to leave. Just let them leave. Just shut up, Anand. Keep quiet. But that's the problem with your best friends. When you are in trouble, they know. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Normally when you pee, you leave. They stood off. <laughs> right behind me. Hands crossed. They're like, what happened, Anand? Huh? <laughs> Can't pee, huh? And then one guy started like, try no, <laughs> try no. <laughs> and I'm standing like, dude, don't do this. <laughs> and these guys are started laughing, they're high fiving each other, they're betting. Dude, one guy went Instagram live. <laughs> and I'm sitting there fucking all that 20 years of insecurities coming. It's like, fuck, I can't lose to these guys, dude. I can't lose to them. I have to come on and think of a solution. And when you're desperate, dumb solutions come into your head. Because the solution that came into my head was, Projectile motion. <laughs> For women, if you didn't understand, have you guys seen those naked statue fountains and water just comes out like that? Men can do that. <laughs> okay, we have that talent. And also at that, dude, I had six beers. I was a fire engine. I can aim for the stars. <laughs> so I got cocky and I started peeing like that. But only once I started, I realized that this position is okay to pee only at the beginning of the pee. <laughs> when you have pressure and you can send the package far, but once that pressure starts dropping, it is a hell scene. It's like imagine you're watering your plants with your pipe, but someone is slowly turning off the tap. <laughs> so what do you do? You bring the pipe closer to the flower pot. But that's the problem. I am not gifted in the pipe department also. <laughs> I have a very average Indian pipe, okay? That comfort is not there. All I can do is more height. And then your first victims are your shoes. Yeah, it is true, your first victim are your shoes. So you panic, you make an even bigger rookie mistake. You increase the distance between the shoes. Losing even more height. Dude, I'm not even, by the time I finish paying this department, look like I went to an amusement park. I swear to God, I turned around, there was an uncle standing. He was like, Beta, is this your first time peeing? Have you ever peed in your life? Dude, I'm not even, that trip I realized my friends were such assholes, dude. When you we were coming back, they stopped at the same dhaba. So many dhaba, they're like, no, let's take a U-turn. We are going to that dhaba. That was Adam. comic, I have to do this. <laughs> this thing off. Everyone leaves it like this. <laughs> Not even one guy is considerate. <laughs> Fucking...